हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर संजीव गुलाटी एग्जीक्यूटिव डायरेक्टर न्यूफ्रोलॉजी एंड किडनी ट्रांसप्लांट ओटिस स्कॉट्स एंड विद मी इज आवर चीफ ट्रांसप्लांट सर्जन एंड डॉक्टर परेश जैन हु इज आल्सो विद द स्कॉट्स हॉस्पिटल वी आर हेडिंग द किडनी ट्रांसप्लांट टीम सो टुडे वी हैव जुलोया तुरावे एंड हर हस्बैंड मिर्जो की तुबर सो जुलोया केम टू अस विद kidney failure she was on dialysis so zuleka when she came to us she was suffering from a disease in which there are cysts in both the kidneys and this disease it runs in families and uh, she also had a familial history of the same disease the kidneys became non functional because of bilateral cysts and plus the, there was infection in the cysts in the kidney so because of this autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease the kidneys had failed and she was on regular dialysis and besides that the cyst also got infection so because of infection we could not do transplant straight away it was very very complicated case so dr parish will tell you how we tried and uh, managed the case so during the work up of zuleka uh we came to know that there was infection in the cyst and there was uh, pus in the urine because of infection we can't do yes. transplant yes. so yes. me and dr gulati we took a collective decision that uh, uh, once we end up with a transplant with infected kidneys it would be very difficult for her so we planned for a nephrectomy that is removal of the kidneys and we did that laparoscopically both the kidneys in one go before transplant so this uh, kidney removal is a very very difficult surgery in uh, transplant patients normally before transplant we don't do kidney removal but uh, since there was lot of infection uh, we we were forced to do that uh, so uh, once we removed the kidneys both the kidneys were removed and whatsoever urine those kidneys were making that was also stopped so the nephrology team very good care of the patient Uh, prepared her in, for a transplant in only 20 days, and uh, after 20 days, the transplant was done. So after the surgery, kidney removal, uh, we gave antibiotics. We put uh, Mrs. Zuluwa on dialysis. Uh, she got better, no fever, no infection, getting strong, eating good food, and then when we looked at her and we thought, okay, now she is good to go for transplant. so just 20 days after the kidneys were removed she was taken up for the transplant uh, her husband was the donor and uh, he had we decided to take his right kidney which was also done laparoscopically we did a donor nephrectomy and transplanted on zuleka so today now we only one month has passed she is doing very well no dialysis uh, she is eating well and she can do all things with now walking eating running which she could not do when she was on dialysis you tell us how are you feeling before transplant and after transplant you tell before surgery i am very best feeling big and small now at least i am very good i am very good feeling so so and how the appetite she is feeling strong now energy no, she is possible you know yes she is strong so how much is the creatinine in zuleka's creatinine today so zuleka's creatinine is normal but and no dialysis so this is how can and she can do all things now work when she goes home she can cook she can eat she can work in the garden all activity those women who are working doing job they can go back to their job also so that only precaution is uh, we have to do a test once a month and life long regular medicine and check up so then even the donor if you look at the incision it is very small incision and the right side we did a laparoscopic so